Huh? This looks like the fitted one. Let's try this thing. She's just making the bed. She's just making the bed. Okay. We're all packed up and ready to rock and roll. Got my. Uh, hold on, let me turn on the uh, thing. The uh, there you go. Okay. Got all my plumbing done. For my toilet. Got everything packed up. Of course, I'll be doing a little projects while we're camping. You know, a little something, something. But I got everything cleaned out, secured. Those right there are the refrigerator panels. I'm going to put those on. But I figured I would uh, put on the... Uh, I'm going to be doing a, uh, a reversal kit from right hand to left hand because uh, cause we want the hinge on the left side. <coughs> and uh, we gave the inside of the, you know, the RV uh, a good bath. We got our fishing poles ready to go. Matter of fact, set these inside and I'll go around inside so when I come out I want to close this door all right and this is my lid okay black Betty's all washed up sparkling looking good went to uh Went to the downtowner, had him put some wax on her and get her all nice and squared away. Got, uh, when I travel, of course I have a, I have a brand new spare tire. And I also always bring another spare tire. Got uh, two bottles of uh, propane for the generator if I ever need it. I always travel with my chainsaw. Of course, jumper cables and stuff like that. Anyway, um, show you what's going on inside the RV. She's all loaded. All right, there we go. So I got my generator in the back for now. And uh, like I mentioned as I was building that uh, all my scraps, I'm gonna bring those for, for firewood. And so, and that Dometic toilet box is completely packed with uh, with scraps of wood. Um, so that's one, two, three, four, five bins, boxes of uh, of uh, firewood that I'm going to be burning. Of course, dog food. Gotta have the dog food. Um, I think I told you all yesterday that... Uh, I had ordered these uh, thermometers for the, and look at that freezer. That freezer is 0.4 degrees Fahrenheit, boy. You can see the smoke coming out of there. That son of a bitch works good. And the refrigerator, I've got it set 36.3. That'll keep some stuff cold. That's actually almost probably a little too cold. Let me uh, see if I can't change that. Two. Let's go to number three and see what three does. 
I'll check that in the morning. Uh, Gina did a real nice cleaning of everything today. A little bit of dust, no big deal. Um, microwave, of course, works. Of course, our toilet works. And the shower, the shower works also, but we decided that um, if we're going to be at the campground, just use the shower there. I just don't want to get the wood uh, walls and the floor because it's just raw wood right now and I, there's no real, uh, there's nothing really to protect it. So we don't want to take showers in there yet. Um, just get, you know, just stuff packed. Because remember now, we don't have, I don't have any cabinets up top and don't really have any down here. You know, we got our trash can, we got some paper towels, we got a, bought a coffee pot. I've got my, uh, got my batteries charging. I don't buy batteries, I use rechargeable ones. Close these ones up, I missed one there. No big deal. Get that all cleaned up. Oh, got the bed. Bed's all made and ready to rock. Oh, and I did go out and buy a TV. I bought a 32 inch Vizio. Uh, I don't know, 1080p, full HD, blah, blah, blah. It's nothing special. Um, <coughs> but we're all ready for cable if we want to watch a movie or whatever. Um, yeah, it looks good once we, once we get, uh, you know, once I get those cabinets built and the drawers over here, it'll, it'll be real nice. Get the floor in, um, get the tongue and groove on the walls. It'll be real nice. Um, shut this. Put the bathroom sink in just to, just so we'd have you know a place to put things and stuff. But it's not the plumbing's not hooked up yet. I just didn't get to, I just didn't get to finishing up this cabinet. So no big deal. Not the end of the world. Um, I also bought this. Uh, this thermometer, um, um, let's see, where's number one? Let's see, the top one is sensor two, and the bottom one is sensor one. Um, sensor one is the temperature in the utility room right now, and that's at 79.8, and the temperature here in the coach is 77.5. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, turn off this uh, fan while I'm here uh, yeah I got some uh, stuff here we're not gonna leave till tomorrow tomorrow will be Sunday the 17th st. Patrick's Day we'll be leaving around I don't know one or two in the afternoon no big deal we're not to be there till till Monday around three o'clock um, so that's pretty exciting oh, did I close that window nope of course not I didn't close this one either that's what I was supposed to be doing Yeah, I didn't mount the TV yet. I figured that'd be a little project I can do while uh, while we're at the uh, at the campground. Oh, and by the way, um, this 
This particular mount is designed to just come off the wall and you know, you carry it back here and there's another mount right here and you just stick that sucker right there. Now, my only question is, is there enough clearance from the ceiling to be able to do that? So I'm gonna have to check that. If not, this this screw comes off or whatever whatever it is. Um, so you could take the mount, take the mount. Whoop. Yeah, you know, take the mount with the screw. So this is the part that's attached to the TV. Let me put that back in there a little bit. And if our memory serves me right, yeah. So the TV, so this would be the, you know, attached to the TV. So then all I'd have to do is just, you know, bring that part and then bring the TV and set it. And set it, you know, set it back in its spot. So no big deal um and i've got i bought some velcro straps and uh what i'm gonna do is uh probably at the top when i do the tongue and groove <coughs> i'll attach probably two pretty good you know lengths of that velcro so that when the tv is is mounted there and put in its you know furthest back position then I can put that velcro around it just to, for when we're traveling um, so it doesn't bounce around but I don't know how uh, how much bouncing around it's gonna do but uh, no big deal we'll figure it out all right well that's about it guys uh, I'm going to take it easy in the morning just because we're going to be driving, you know, and uh, we'll uh, we'll be videotaping along the way and, you know, our little adventures. Um, I'm not going to be taking the highways. I'm just going to be going up, if you know anything about Florida, we're going up 31 to Arcadia. Go pretty much up the middle of the state, 301 until we get into Georgia and then. It's just a, it's just a short, uh, um, short distance from the Florida Georgia line, and uh, so yeah, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Boop. All right. Okay, everything's locked up. Well, everything's closed up. It's not locked up yet. I think I hear some. I heard somebody. All right. Well, I can tell that the uh, motion detector is working because the green light's blinking. And uh, I'll leave it plugged in. All right. I'll come back out in a little while and uh, I'll lock it up. No big deal. Actually, you know what? I could do that right now. I have the technology. Oh, I'm glad I did come right in here. The lawn mower.
Oh, pretty cool. In case anybody's wondering how I level the trailer, that's how I do it <laughs> with a level. Um, I have the uh, I have the levels that you install on the trailer, but you pretty much have to be level on a level surface to be able to install them. So I'll be doing that. Uh, when I take the trailer to get it weighed and uh, oh by the way for you RV geeks I did buy the uh, I did buy the stainless steel covers okay because you know those basically those holes behind there are wide open and you can get wasps in there and bugs and they'll set up camp um, so you you buy these screens and they cover those holes and voila no issues um, everything's good. Everything's good. Well, let me close these trash can lids in case it rains again tonight. All right. Whew. All right. Well, that's all I got, peoples. Thanks for watching, and uh, hope you. Uh, enjoyed it and uh, hope you follow us on our first uh, adventure maiden voyage all right y'all have a good night and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow for sure i'm gonna come back out and close that anyway all right have a good night